Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I hope you all are having a very lovely day. So this one is a top tier Patreon pick. It's what dreams may come. I was up front and said that I did watch this in a high school English class but that was a very long time ago. So I haven't seen this in over 10 years. All I remember from it was that Robin Williams was in it and maybe something about skulls. That may be very off. I don't even know if I attended all the English classes that we watched the full movie in. So I basically am going into this pretty blind, but I'm excited. The person that suggested this loves this movie and means a lot to him. So I am excited to explore it and to see Robin Williams. I love him. I grew up on Aladdin and Mrs. Doubtfire and Patch Adams. He's so nostalgic for me, some of my favorite childhood movies, as well as just, I think he was an incredible actor. So I am excited to watch him in this lesser known movie, I think, of his. Okay, dreams may come, let's get started. I need to go there. You're fine in Switzerland? I did. They had sandwiches there. I brought you some. A man. The lady who discovered Switzerland. You yeah, had all the papers. <laughs> <laughs> that is unreal. <gasps> well, they are adorable. Let's make out. <laughs> <laughs> Children. We're late, guys. Hey, Ace, it okay? Yeah. Your mother puts healthy stuff in there, so don't trade it. Trade chips and cookies, I know. It was the last time Annie and I saw them alive. What? What? Their children died? Both of them? I don't remember that part. I thought maybe the wife died, not the children. That is so horrific. Jacobs? Stacy Jacobs? Nice stream. I bet he feels a lot better. He's been wanting to do that for 10 years. Stacy Jacobs. It's all right. My kid used to say, hey, what's the difference? You weren't looking anyway. Do you like rabbits? Yes. Oh. Whoa! Wild rabbit, watch out. Oh. Stacy, you have more pictures than a supermodel. Does your head hurt a lot? All the time. I want you to cup your hand, cover your nose and your mouth like this, and just breathe in and out. Christy, I've got to melt down. Okay, take a breath. Focus. It's our double D anniversary, and I'm ruining everything. Well, I'll drop by after work. You do that for me. It's our double D anniversary. I love you, Bella. I love you too. <laughs> you feel better, don't you? Hmm, migraines. I said I love you, Bella. I always remember that. At least I got to say it. What's happening? I'm a doctor. <laughs> Don't move. Wait. Chris. Do you know what's happened? Yeah, I had a bad piece of fish before bed. He's alive? Ginger, Ginger, you see me. Can you see me now? Why are you so blurred? Did he die? You've died, Chris. If I were dead, would I need you to tell me? I guess you do. It's Cooper Gooding Jr. What you want to remember is your kid. Wait a second. He died too? This is a flashback? When she goes to the hospital, I'm going to. 
Katie's not going there to get better. She hurts very, very badly. So I'm going to stop that because I love her. I'm going to kill my dog. What'll happen to her? She'll go where we all go. Can that woman really have lost her children and then her husband? That's too much for one person to bear. Where are we now? This is your funeral. At least you're willing to see yourself. You're losing your fear. Fear. That you disappeared. You didn't. You only died. Is he an angel? Oh my gosh. That's just not fair. It's her version of our place where we first met. Where we were going to tire, I guess. Be old farts together. That's our dream house. Your diary. My shrink is crazier than I am. He's so stupid he thinks he pulled me through the breakdown when it was only Christy. Oh my gosh. Paintings were his obsession. He used art as another way to love me. Oh, this is painful. I'm here, babe. I still exist. Just write it down. This is Chris. I still exist. it end it's over when you stop wanting to hurt her he doesn't want to hurt her i'm not leaving you alone i'm not going anywhere ah! <laughs> oh my gosh this is so painful goodbye babe <gasps> he is leaving her Will he get to see his children in heaven, at least? He's in a painting. Trudy, it's you! <laughs> You're young again! I screwed up. I'm in dog heaven. <laughs> Place where we all go can't be bad, can it, girl? in her painting. <laughs> Maybe I'm not in your heaven after all, girl. Maybe you're in mine. <sighs> Brett! What the hell you done? Albert Lewis? Last time you saw me, I was 63. And that was you when I died. I thought you recognized me before because you kept calling me Doc. You are still kind of ugly. Nice place you got here. Nice place you got here. We all paint our own surroundings, Chris, but you're the first guy I know to use real paint. So this guy was his um, mentor or something when he was a doctor? Hey, didn't Annie paint you guys a house somewhere? This is really sweet, Just a stroll actually. across the water. It's easy, Chris, look at me! I'm going to drown. You're already dead. Am I really here? What do you mean by you, anyway? If you lost all your limbs, wouldn't you still be you? I'd still be me. So, what is the me? My brain, I suppose. Your brain. Why is that the part that's you? Because I, sort of a voice in my head. Yeah. I'm with him. His soul. If you're aware, you exist. And you do. I want him to see his children. You're in your house right now. You're in your house. It doesn't mean you are your house. House falls down, get out and walk away. But it looks like I rebuilt. Huh? He's speaking very deeply. <laughs> Where's all the paint? You don't need it anymore. Where's God in all this? He's up there, shouting down that he loves us, wondering why we can't hear him. You think? Drink your coffee. Needs milk. Don't push your luck. She's probably in a very deep, dark despair. Why do I think you can see this? What's that purple tree? Think you can get there in eight seconds? Yeah, I just need a, a little incentive. Yeah. 
wait. Chris. I bet you're thinking, oh shit, man. Strange. Oh. He doesn't get to see her? It's completely new. How can I see this drawing after I'm dead? Soulmate. It's extremely rare, but it exists. You're reaching each other through a painting. It's, it's nothing I've ever seen, Chris. You can't see it, can you? You can. Oh. I love you! It's like he can feel her pain. I need Annie. That'll change in time, Chris. Oh, come on, Einstein! Time does not exist here! And wherever it went, it's not gonna make me need Annie any less. Oh my goodness, he loves her so much. Marie. It's my daughter's! She's here, right? Here is big enough for everybody to have their own private universe. That's not why you haven't seen your kids yet. But what does that mean, Buddha? I want to see my children, Albert! I would want to, too. That'd be the one good thing about dying. To see your children again. I got a fever. It's going down, though. Don't you have to go somewhere? You want to play chess? I could teach you. You could teach me that? Excuse me. Who's this? Uh, Albert has to work. He asked me to meet with you. You work in heaven? Leona. It's a very beautiful name. Close your eyes. I didn't mean forever. What do you think? Up till now, you've been painting your own world. This is mine. Are these real people that have also died? If I'd have walked out that night for our double day, you would have never been in that tunnel doing me a favor. The whole family lost in car crashes. Enough to make a person buy a bike. You have difficulty losing my wife. Yeah. And your children? They died years ago. That's why I'm worried about my wife. They died in a terrible collision. It was a trucker's fault. Oh, but my wife believed that if she'd been driving, the protective instincts would have. It's too much. Come on, Kitty. I don't get it. This is her world, Leona's world. Your wife must have loved her children very much. Very much. Tell me a memory of your own. Same with your daughter. Hey, that's somebody else's art. What's the difference? You weren't looking anyway. Is this where we go when we die? That's a dream, baby. Beautiful one. Dreams oh, not real. It's after midnight. I haven't won yet. It's the first time. No, I like that I haven't won yet. It means you're not cheating. And when I win, I really win. Just wanna play until I do. Let's play until you win. She died three months later. Oh, he was such a good dad. I flew to Singapore once. My daddy smiled at the flight attendant who <laughs> looked like this. He said Asian women are so lovely intelligent you didn't mean only no. and what i thought was when i grow up i want to be that you still play chess i think i waited for my partner Wait. meant to have two spectacular children oh, no. and the truth is simply that it's over just this one loose end is she gonna try to commit suicide we're gonna go through something very hard right now hmm? you're not alone chris annie's dead she killed herself <laughs> but she's okay her you pain's over you don't understand when do i see her 
Oh my gosh. Never. She's a suicide. Suicides go somewhere else. What are you punishing her for? It's just reality and the way things work. Yeah, the reality is suicides go to hell? No goddamn judgment in that! That doesn't seem fair. Suicides don't go to hell because they're immoral or selfish. But there's a natural order to our journey. And Annie's violated that. She won't face it. And she will spend eternity playing that out. The real hell is your life gone wrong. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. I don't know that I like to think that. You don't understand how this works. It's not about understanding. It's about not giving up. No one has ever seen a suicide brought back. Stick around, Chief. You ain't seen nothing yet. He's gonna try and go get her? So does Marie know that she's never gonna see her mom again? I feel like there shouldn't be scary guys here. We'll find her. But when you find her, nothing will make her recognize her. Nothing will break her denial. It's stronger than her love. You can say everything you long to say, including goodbye. He won't, she won't recognize him? So they're saying when you commit suicide, you're just in a denial? You don't know that you've died? Are you proud of your own kids? Of course. Oh, well, that's an easy bullshit answer. <laughs> I said, of course. I like this short point. It's juice. It makes you a better receiver, friend. Who thought of this movie? So he's got to go to... to hell? The Finder? <laughs> In hell, that's real danger of losing your mind. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't like that. I don't like that. What? Because he's drowning. He's 13. Wonderful. He needs to hang out with his friends. Veg out in front of the television. He's going through all this, so he won't let me down. No, he's into you so deep, he thinks he's letting himself down. You Ian, I'm not you! Oh, he was hard on his son. They were having a nice father-son moment out in the rain. And he tells him he's blowing it. Oh. oh my gosh, that's disturbing. Oh my goodness. Shipwrecks. It's the gateway to hell. Picking up any signals? Not a ripple. Because I was thinking of somebody else. His son. Every day I see how I'm not as good as you and everyone else. All of this is heartbreaking. But that doesn't mean I give up. What a sweet kid. Wow. This is quite the contrast to his beautiful painting. How do you feel? I want to know how you feel when you go to bed at night. I'm not scared. I know I believe in you. If I was going through fucking hell, I'd only want one person in the whole goddamn world by my side. There's a man Ian never got to know. The man he was growing up to be. I could see him. Oh my goodness. There's tenderness in him. Respect. It was a sweet moment after all. I see him as a father. That's where he really shines. When he looks in his kid's eyes, that kid knows that his dad really sees him. Sees who he is. Oh my goodness. And then that child knows that he's an amazing person. He's quite a guy that I'll never get to meet. Come on, she could be in there. Your mother's not in there, Ian! Your mom's not in there, son. That's his son? There's another man I'd go through hell with. Elevator to hell. Going out. I'm going with you. You've lost all signal from your wife. And your boy is a decisive distraction. We do it together. Come on, she's your mother. Let's go. Dan, no. When you get there, you don't listen to him. You find her and you bring her back. So, is he choosing to see them like that? Like as Albert? Or you is... Stop to think why I chose to be Albert. Oh, this is what I want to find He's out. He's the only guy you ever listened to. Listen to me now. 
Think about mom. Think about what happened when we died. Think about what you said to her to bring her back. <sighs> That's why he chose to be Albert. But will he see them as themselves now after what he's realized? Think about mom. Why aren't you in here? Why didn't you go crazy? Your children died. I remember. I remember the silence in the house. You got a choice. Life either goes on or not. And you choose life. Sometimes when you win, you lose. I can't imagine. This is the part. This is the only part I remember from the whole movie. What are these people here for? Why are they here? Is that her? Oh my gosh. Angel Falls. It's our first double D. Shouldn't it be incredible? What's double D? You taught me the one thing, the only thing I should always remember. Yes. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Never give up. You found her. My God, is that our house? <gasps> What's she gonna see him as? Suicides can get pretty tortured. See her. Tell her what's in your heart, and then go. You call your son Albert. He's like a father to me. These used to be ribless. That's the real Albert. And the rest of me used to be black. <laughs> you know, I've been waiting for years for the chance to watch out for you. And I'm watching out for you now. Three minutes. Anymore, you could lose your mind. So this is just his chance to say goodbye? Who are you? I'm your neighbor. You're Annie Nielsen, right? Mrs. Gorman admires your roses. They were so handsome. But now there's no water pressure in the neighborhood. There are other things missing, too. You know, like all my clean clothes and some of my favorite paintings. She's, she's dead. Ah! So she thinks she's just stuck in this disaster life world? And it's real? My wife committed suicide after our children died. After I... Don't you think that's sad? The last day I saw my wife, it was a very special kind of day. I think we're gonna get to figure out what Double D is. This is a one-way ticket for me. My hanging around here is not helping you. It's killing me. Today is kind of a D-Day for decision, I guess. Divorce. That would be two Ds, would it? These must have been very horrible, painful years. Cindy called, and I told her it was the museum that kept you from driving that day. And if you went back, it would mean you weren't sorry, and you weren't wrong, and you would be betraying your children. He doesn't believe she that. She said you were crazy. And I said she was a soulless bitch, <laughs> and I hung up on her. That didn't go over very well. That's what she believes about herself. That's when I realized I'm part of the problem. Because I couldn't join you. Don't give up, okay? No. She chose him, she chose life. And then he died. That's just horrific. <laughs> When he saw his children again. I thought you said your children were dead. You can see the dead. In your dreams, if you want to. I want to see Christy. I can show you. It's not hard. Just close your eyes. Oh, please. <laughs> Christy. Annie, this is real. Man in the garden. No! No! been in there a while. I'm sorry, babe. There's some things I have to say. I've only got a few moments left. <gasps> He's just gonna say goodbye. 
I just wanted us to be all together. Two old farts laughing at each other and our bodies fell apart together at the end. Oh my goodness. That lake in your painting. This is like painful to the core. I apologize for every time I failed you, especially this one. You didn't think I'd make it out, huh? Nothing you can do could have happened. This trip was always just for you. But now he has to think about her in misery. Forever. <sighs> I'm giving up. Just not the way you think. Do you tell my children I love them? And I won't leave them with it. Oh, he's gonna say it out with <laughs> In one minute, I won't know you any better than you'll know me. But we'll be together. Oh, gosh, this is terrible. Good people end up in hell because they can't forgive themselves. Not because I remind you, but because I couldn't join you. Christy. What happened to this place? Oh no. It's cold. She recognized him. She recognized him. Christy. Oh God, no, 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 no. Christy, Christy, don't give up. Don't, don't, don't. Christy. Don't give up. Up. He's back. Why oh, he say she's there? Oh my goodness. Remember me? He did it. She did it. Sometimes when you lose, you win. Everything, nothing worked. Until you tried joining me. You know what some folks call impossible? It's just stuff they haven't seen before. <laughs> Where are the kids? Ready for that surprise, I promise. <laughs> That's not the surprise. Could find you in Jersey. When I was young, I met this beautiful girl by the lake. Oh, that was a trip. Oh, that movie was like. Beautifully sad and happy at the same time. Oh my gosh, Robin Williams is so good. He was so good. I feel like this is gonna sound corny again, but that movie, the feeling I'm feeling right now after watching it, is to not take life for granted, to not worry about things that don't matter, like your kids' grades, and to be so committed and loyal to each other. I don't know, it was just so special. In my mind, I like to imagine that there's not that kind of hell for people who committed suicide and that, that you're just gonna be able to be with your family forever. That's what I want it to be. I guess this is just, I guess the director's or writer's view and whatever your view, of the afterlife is. It still showed the power of love and not giving up. And it was just so beautiful. Well, except the creepy, the hell part. That was not beautiful. <laughs> I liked the ending. Their family got to be together. When she like heard her daughter say, mom, oh my gosh. That was just really emotional, especially watching it after Robin Williams has passed and 
really emotional, really beautiful, really sad and happy and really makes you think. I'm so glad I watched that. I feel like no matter what your thoughts again, it's gonna give you some perspective. So thank you so much for that suggestion and that watch. <sighs> it was like a happy cry, most of it. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful night and bye.